Well, hello Aries. Welcome to your weekly reading. This is September 25th through October 1st. So, this is actually the last weekly reading, at least for a while. I'm moving to two monthly readings uh, per zodiac sign. The energy just shifted me that way, so that's where we are. Um, we're going to do today love, money, career, and a random message for this week. This little span week for you. So Aries, let's start with love. We have expectations. Butterfly. Guarded heart. Frigid, dating, and bold move. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, someone has let down your expectations of a relationship. They've let you down. Okay, somebody has let you down and you're like healing the part of you that keeps letting this person let you down. Okay, um, whether it's them specifically or just relationships in general, you're just healing. Um, but the thing is, you're gathering up like trust issues, like you're having a hard time trusting that someone else won't put you through this um and you're in the process of fully letting this person go this issue this situation go you're done right um Someone's trying to get you back. And they're trying to get you back under the disguise of let's start over, let's date again. And I feel like you want to date again as well. I would hesitantly try again with somebody from your past, okay? But even when it comes to someone new, it's like they'll have to do something really big to get you to trust them again. Because you have really been put through the ringer by this last one, maybe the last couple relationships. So... Hangman. Temperance. Five, yeah, someone, <laughs> this last one really took you through the ringer. I feel like it's teaching you how to be patient. It's teaching you how relationships should go. Um, like there has to be moderation in issues and problems. It can't consistently always be a problem, you know, things like that. So I feel like this relationship has taught you several things, Aries. And... You're in the process of like letting this go. And the reason why is because you're thinking about the bigger picture. And this is not what you want for yourself. This is not how you see relationships being. This is not this is not what you want for yourself or you want your children to see. You know, you don't want this to be your legacy. You don't want your love story to be this one, right? It's I feel like it's just not an option for you. Um, so you're deciding to move on and look forward. But I feel like someone is always trying to pull you back. And they're pulling you back with like this promise of like, 
things will be different or like they have changed. Yeah, it's like you're feeling like there's a decision to be made. And the decision is about you looking at the bigger picture. That's what it is. Not about what you're feeling like right now. Because feeling right now always gets you back in this situation with this person. So it's like, what's the bigger picture? What do I want for myself? It's time, yeah. Walking away because you want more. You want more than this. And this person is doing whatever they can and saying whatever they can to get you to stay, right? Promising that things will be different, that they've changed, that they've rethink, rethought their priorities, okay? Um, but now at this point, it's emotional healing for you. It's being single. It's leaving this alone, you know? I do feel like this person is trying to come towards you with all this love, care, and affection, I see someone, if not this person, I see someone new coming in to try to get your attention. But you're mostly focused on yourself, I see here. Because um, there's a sense of healing here, you know. Eventually, I feel like you'll be ready to move on. Like you're moving on now, but there's a sense of healing that needs to be done as well, okay. You have developed some really bad spending habits, Aries. And you're noticing that when you get paid or when you get money, you're either overspending it or you're seeing that you don't have enough in one aspect or another. Yeah, this is what's interesting. You have a good career. You have a good career and you have people around you at your job that really care about you as well, believe it or not. Um, but you're feeling like you don't get paid enough. And that feeling is making you think that... You don't have enough. Like something needs to change. Like things are um, like imbalanced. But that's not true. Um, I feel like it's more ego driven of like I'm not getting what I'm not getting everything I need. I'm not making enough money. Things could be better, you know, but really you're in a really good situation. It looks like. You know that you have bad spending habits, but I feel like you defend it as much as you can. The problem with that is because it is, it's emotional spending that you're doing. Like emotional eating is the same thing. Um, you're emotionally spending. And you, it's like you're not ready to let that go. You're not ready to move on from that, you know. Um, so you're like kind of making excuses on why this is happening, why you can't, that type of thing. Um but the longer you let this go on, the worse it's going to be, you know, uh, especially mentally, because I feel like it causes a lot of worry and anx anxiety and stuff within you. OK. This is just a straight fact. You need to stay at your job. Some of you are, <laughs> some of you, I don't know why. This is like ego driven. Like you just want more. 
but you're good where you are. It, it's not a problem. You should stay where you are. Yeah. Whatever this is, is like, it's just. Um, it's like you're indulging in, like, bad egotistic habits. I'm, I don't know how to explain it. It just, stay at your job. There's no reason for you to leave. You feel like there is, but you could fix that by just budgeting. It's that simple, okay? <laughs> Let's leave it at that. Because I feel like there's longevity there. I just don't see a reason. Like, you get along with people for the most part. By you taking a risk to choose yourself, um, you're securing your future. You know, you're securing your individuality. You're securing your financial existence. Happy financial existence. Um, by choosing yourself. It's like, take a risk. Take a risk to start taking care of your home your finances, your job. Take a risk to do that and you'll come out on top. You miss love. Um, and missing love gets you caught up in all these issues of like, if I keep putting time in, it'll grow. Um, and getting caught up in, like, these bad love situations. Um, it's time for you to start focusing on the future. Like, on marriage, on family. Like, long-term things. Instead of how you're feeling right now. Uh, you need to learn. <laughs> and this is in general, Aries. Um, how to take a pause it's like, yeah, you're really into this person right now. But it's like, take a pause and see if there's growth here. You know, like if this is positive, if this is lucrative. Or are you just doing something to pass the time or so you don't be lonely? Okay. Yeah, <laughs> don't fall for every flirt, every Tom, Dick, and Harry, every person that gives you attention, everything that strokes your ego, because it's not always good for you. Um, this is telling me, like, there's two sides to every story, and you just need to look into both sides before you choose one. Yeah, before you choose one. Um, this is true with people who are really good at talking you into things. Because you may think it not doesn't work on you, but for some of you, it really does. Okay? Um, it's like, there's somebody in your life that knows how to manipulate you or tell you what you need to know. Um, but just, or that you need to hear, excuse me. But just be careful about thinking that something, everything has two sides. There's two sides to every story, right? So everything isn't 100% solid. It's like question everything this week, okay? Question everything. Don't be afraid. All right, Aries, I love you. I'll talk to you later, okay? Bye-bye.